हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हैरिस टुडारो मॉडल दिस मॉडल इज गिवन बाय जॉन आर हैरिस एंड माइकल टुडारो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस मॉडल व्हेन अ पर्सन गोइंग टू माइग्रेट फ्रॉम रूरल एरिया टू अर्बन एरिया अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस मॉडल व्हेन अ पर्सन गोइंग टू माइग्रेट फ्रॉम रूरल एरिया टू अर्बन एरिया ही मेक कंपैरिजन बिटवीन एक्चुअल रूरल वेज रेट एंड एक्सपेक्टेड अर्बन वेज rate okay he make comparison between actual rural wage rate and expected urban wage rate please keep in your mind expected wage rate is different from actual wage rate and when a person going to migrate or think about migration before migration he will make comparison between actual rural wage rate and expected urban wage rate if he find expected urban wage rate is more than actual rural wage rate then he migrate otherwise no for example uh, actual rural wage rate is 30 per day and actual urban wage rate is 60 per day okay and we can calculate expected urban wage rate when we multiply actual wage rate with charge to get employment in urban sector okay how can we calculate expected urban wage rate when we multiply actual wage rate in urban sector with charge to get employment in urban sector then we find expected urban wage we understand this concept with the help of one example okay for example this person a he want to migrate from rural area to urban area okay he will see uh, per day uh, per day wage in rural area is 30 means right now he is getting 30 per day in rural area okay and actual wage rate in 60 per day in urban area okay but how much chance how much possibility he will get a job in urban area okay because there is already so many job seeker in urban area it is not necessary this a person go in urban area and immediately find a job okay so how much possibility or how much chance a, a person will get job in urban area for example chance to get job in urban area is equal to 0.4 okay actual urban wage rate is 60 and chance to get job in urban areas equal to 0.4 when this person multiply when 60 by 0.4 okay when we multiply 60 with 0.4 we will get 24 okay 24 is our expected urban wage rate okay how can we find expected urban wage rate when we multiply actual urban wage rate with chance to get uh, chance to get employment in urban sector okay when a chance to get employment in urban sector is equal to 0.5 and actual wage rate in urban sector is 60 when we multiply 60 uh, say 60 with 0.4 we will get 24 24 is your expected urban wage rate okay and uh, right now person uh, earning 30 rupees per day in rural sector okay and expected urban wage rate is equal to 24 in this case in this case expected urban wage rate is less than actual wage rate that he currently earning earning in rural area so he will not migrate because expected income is less than actual income okay if expected income will more than actual income if expected urban income will more than actual rural income then he will think about migration otherwise not okay now we understand whole process of migration with the help of this diagram in x axis we take a number of labor in this diagram x axis we take number of labor and in y axis in left side we take agriculture wage rate okay left side in y axis left side here we take agriculture wage rate and in right side here we take manufacturing wage rate okay in x axis we take number of labor and y axis the right side we take agriculture wage rate and in sorry in left side we take agriculture wage rate and in right side we take manufacturing wasted okay in this side we take agriculture wasted and in this side we take manufacturing wasted and in x axis we take number of labor okay and this curve this red curve this red aa curve represent demand curve of labor in agriculture sector this red curve this aa curve represent demand curve of labor in agriculture sector and this blue this blue mm curve represent demand curve of labor in manufacturing sector okay when 
वेज रेट इन बोथ सेक्टर इज इक्वल टू ईच अदर ओके वेन एग्रीकल्चर वेज रेट इज इक्वल टू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वेज रेट देन वी हैव इक्वली विरम पॉइंट इन दिस पॉइंट ओके वेन वेज रेट इन बोथ सेक्टर इज इक्वल टू ईच अदर वेन और वी कैन से दैट वेज रेट इन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर इज इक्वल टू मैन्युफैक्चर सेक्टर देन वी हैव इक्वली विरम पॉइंट हेयर E is our equally be the point. In this point, wage rate in both sector is equal to each other. Okay, agriculture wage rate is this one, W A star, and manufacturing wage rate is W M star. That is equal to each other. Okay, W A star wage rate is equal to W M star wage rate. Okay, and at this point. O A L A. This amount of O A L A means this amount of worker are working in agriculture sector, and O M L M. This amount of workers are working in uh, manufacturing sector. Okay, at this equilibrium point, this O A L A workers are working in uh, uh, agriculture sector, and O M L M worker are working in uh, manufacturing sector. Or in this case, there is no un, uh, um, there is no any uh, there is no unemployment because uh, some worker are working in agriculture sector, some are working in uh, manufacturing sector. Uh, all are employed. Okay, because wage rate in both sector is equal to each other. Okay. Okay, but according to this equilibrium, this according to this model, this equilibrium is not possible. Why? Because um, wage rate in both sector is not equal to each other. Okay, wage rate in both sector is not equal to each other. According to this model, urban sector have a higher fixed rate, fixed wage rate. On the other hand, agriculture sector wage rate are very flexible. Okay, or according to this model, urban sector have a higher fixed wage rate. On the other hand, agriculture say, uh, wage rate are fluctuate more, and they are are very flexible. Okay, so uh, because this equ equilibrium is not possible according to this model, so this model basically have two official equilibrium. Okay, one equilibrium is when expected wage rate in urban formal sector is equal to actual wage rate in rural sector. When expected wage rate in urban formal sector is equal to actual wage rate in rural sector. Okay, expected wage rate in urban sector, as we discussed earlier, when we multiply uh, actual wage rate with chance to get employment, we will get expected wage rate. Okay, and equilibrium is here when expected wage rate in urban formal sector is equal to actual wage rate in rural sector. Okay, now we understand this equilibrium with the help of this equation. in this equation wa wa equal to le over lus multiplied by wm okay wa mean wage rate in agriculture sector wa mean wage rate in agriculture sector and wm means wage rate in manufacturing sector okay and lus lus means total number of job seeker in urban area okay lus means this mean lus mean total number of job seeker in urban area means those people total number of those people who are finding job in urban area okay and le mean this le le means total number of job available in urban area total number of job available in urban area or we can say that total number of employed people in urban area okay now this le 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 basically total number of job av available in urban sector and this lus is uh, total number of job seeker in urban area okay when we divide when le is divided by lus we basically get chance to get employment in urban sector okay when le is divided by lus we will get chance to get a job in urban sector this is basically this le le over lus basically chance to get job in urban sector okay um, we were, we we are talking about equilibrium na we are expected wage rate in urban sector urban formal sector will equal to actual wage rate okay uh, for example in rural sector 30 wage rate 30 wage rate for per day okay and in urban sector 60 wage rate for per day and chance to get employment in urban sector is equal to 0.5 chance to get a value of le over lus value is 0.5 
ओके डब्ल्यू एम वैल्यू दिस इज वेज इन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी एंड डब्ल्यू एम वैल्यू दिस इज वेज रेट इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एंड वैल्यू ऑफ एल ई ओवर एल यू एस दैट इज चांस टू गेट इंप्लॉयमेंट इन अर्बन सेक्टर दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वैन वी मल्टीप्लाई सिक्सटी विद जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वी विल गेट एक्सपेक्टेड वेज रेट एज वी अर्लियर डिस्कस डिस्कस वैन वी मल्टीप्लाई एक्चुअल अर्बन वेज रेट विद चांस टू गेट इंप्लॉयमेंट इन अर्बन सेक्टर वी विल गेट एक्सपेक्टेड वेज रेट इन दिस केस एक्चुअल रूरल वेज रेट इज इक्वल टू एक्सपेक्टेड अर्बन वेज रेट सो दिस इज अवर इक्वली बीरियम पॉइंट ओके हाउ कैन वी शो दिस इक्वली बीरियम पॉइंट इन दिस डायग्राम दिस क्यू क्यू लाइन रिप्रेजेंट दिस इक्वली बीरियम ओके दिस क्यू क्यू लाइन रिप्रेजेंट दिस इक्वेशन हाउ ओके दिस डब्ल्यू एम this wm amount of uh, uh, wage rate in urban sector that we assume equal to 60 okay this wm amount of wage rate in urban sector that we assume equal to 60 and this wa this one w this wm wage rate in uh, manufacturing sector and this wa wage rate in agriculture sector which we assume equal to 30 okay when we multiply 60 that is wage rate that is actual wage rate in urban sector with the chance to get employment in urban sector that is 0.5 it's become equal to 30 now expected wage rate in manufacturing sector and actual wage rate in urban sector is equal to each other and when we join these both point we get equilibrium okay as we can see this this qq line represent equilibrium okay equilibrium in this diagram okay now one most important thing i have discussed these uh, these have two or uh, these model have two official equilibrium this is all about first equilibrium now i am talking about second equilibrium point okay uh, as we know uh, urban sector uh, basically have two sector urban sector basically have two sector one is formal sector and other one is informal sector urban sector basically have two sector one is formal sector and other one is informal sector uh, the, this higher amount of wage rate this wm amount of wage rate that we assume equal to 60 is provided by urban formal sector okay higher wage rate is provided by urban formal sector on the other hand informal sector are unorganized sector they are very underpaid sector sector they basically exploited they basically exploited labor by paying very less okay and this higher amount of wage rate is only provided by urban formal sector but urban formal sector cannot employ everyone within this wage rate urban formal sector cannot employ everyone because there are so many people na urban employed sector cannot give employed everyone with at this higher wage rate okay He, urban formal sector can give employment to only this amount of people om lm people om lm people are working in urban formal sector okay and this oa la people is working in agriculture sector they are very satisfied with their wage they want, they don't want to migrate okay this lm this om lm amount of worker are working in manufacturing sector and this oa la amount of worker are working in agric agriculture sector and what's about these people who lies between la and lm what uh, what's about these people who lies between la and lm these people are not able to get employment in urban formal sector the uh, people who lies between la and lm are not able in this la and this this amount of people uh, these these amount of people who lies between la and lm this ठीक है वो नॉट नॉट एबल टू गेट जॉब इन अर्बन सेक्टर अर्बन फॉर्मल सेक्टर तो व्हाट दे डू ओके दे हैव टू ऑप्शन आइदर दीज पीपल गेट अनएम्प्लॉयड और डू जॉब इन अर्बन इन फॉर्मल सेक्टर ओके देर एज आई डिस्कस देर आर टू सेक्टर ना फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल फॉर्मल सेक्टर ओनली प्रोवाइड जॉब टू ओनली दिस अमाउंट ऑफ पीपल एंड दीज आर दी पीपल हु आर नॉट एबल टू गेट जॉब इन अर्बन अर्बन फॉर्मल सेक्टर दे हैव टू ऑप्शन आइदर टू गेट अनएम्प्लॉयड और वर्क इन अर्बन इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर एज आई अर्लियर डिस्कस इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर बेसिकली डू एक्सप्लोइटेशन ऑफ लेबर बाय पेइंग वेरी लेस बट दीज पीपल डोंट हैव एनी ऑप्शन बट डूइंग जॉब इन इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर इज बेटर देन टू रिमेनिंग unemployed na so most of the people will join informal sector when people join informal sector we comes in our other equilibrium point okay this is our second equilibrium point okay 
we will understand this equilibrium with the help of this equation in this equation uh, wa is our agriculture wage rate wa dash is our agriculture wage rate and uh, lf LF is total number of employed people in formal sector or we can say that total number of job available in formal sector okay and this uh, L1 this li is total number of people employed in informal sector this one L, LF plus L, uh, LF plus li that is equal to uh, job seeker in both sector okay LF plus L1 means uh, total number of job seeker in both sector, formal and informal sector. Means total number of people who are finding in job, uh, formal sector and informal sector. Okay. And this W bar is wage rate in formal sector and this WI wage rate in informal sector. Okay. Now, when we divide LF by LF plus L1, we basically get chance to job in urban formal sector. LF is a total number of people employed in formal sector and LF plus L1 is total number of people who finding job in both sector. When we divide LF with LF plus, LF plus LI, we will get chance to get job in, uh, chance to get job in formal sector. And when we multiply with the W bar that is wage rate in formal sector, it's become, uh, it's become expected income in urban formal sector. Similar. This L1, LI people who are working in informal sector and L, LF plus L1 is total number of people who are finding job in formal sector and informal sector. When we divide L, LI with LF plus LI, we will get chance of get job in urban informal sector and in multiply by WI. WI is basically vegetative informal sector. Okay, now it's become expected income from informal sector okay this say uh, this people join formal sector and this when people join informal sector okay those are no basically those people are not able to get job in formal sector they join informal sector most of the people join informal sector this is all about harris to model i think you got understood and thank you so much for watching this video and take care bye